and the three judging artistic presentation. Kathy Davis, Alan Sokoloff, and Dennis Fiore. And the official timekeeper is Mimi McCarthy. Okay, we have come to the moment. The judges have completed their scoring, and we have the results. Here to present the gold medal, the 1989 United States Mixed Pair Champions, Deborah McGee and Troy Markle. The scoring with a skill score of 167.5 out of 180 and a presentation score of 106 out of 120, making their combined total of 273.5 out of 300. The 1990 Reebok National Aerobic Champions in the mixed pair division are Kevin Cregan and Lee Spenwin, representing U.S. Swim and Fitness in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Woo, that is one thrilled man. You know, Kevin moved from Dallas, Texas. He moved in with Lee and her husband in Minneapolis for seven months to train for this event. Has it ever paid off for these two athletes? Interestingly, the winning score, 273.5. Second place, just right behind, 261, Kelly Ginalot and Michael Thompson. Third place, 245 and a half, Chris Galen and Michelle Nevodomsky. And so our congratulations to our first champions of the night, the mixed pair champions. You know, we mentioned a little earlier that the first world aerobic championship is going to be held June 8th in San Diego with 16 countries participating. How would the United States do in international competition? We're going to find out. We have a great team from Japan, the All Japan Aerobic Champions. Watch them. Chris, competitive aerobics is so popular in Japan. This is their fifth year for a national championship. And in Japan, if you want to be a competitor in the championship, you call in and register on a toll-free line. Well, this year, when they opened that toll-free line, within the first 30 minutes in Tokyo alone, they got 1,200 competitors registered. Let's watch. Stay with us here on ESPN. Coming up, the women's individual competition. Should be exciting. We went to the fight capital of the world and asked the fans, who's the greatest heavyweight ever? By far, it's Muhammad Ali. Ripping punches. Muhammad Ali. A challenger goes down again. Muhammad Ali. Who's the heavyweight champion of the world? Sports Illustrated presents Muhammad Ali. The video. See his pro debut. His fights with Liston, Foreman, Frazier, Spinks, and more. And the video is free with your paid subscription to SI. Get it and find out who the greatest of all time is. A short choosing right to the car. Liston goes down. The man, he, he jab, body dance. He float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. Well, keep your camera moving because I'm kind of fast. A short right and only goes down. Brought back memories, things I'd seen and hadn't seen. All the fights, all the interviews. Muhammad Ali, he took them all on. God's former Joe Frazier. Naming the round and all that. People thought that was a fluke. He wanted to go to heaven, so I took him himself. You don't see boxes like that anymore. And George Foreman goes down. Foreman goes down like a tree stuck by lightning. And the Muhammad Ali video is free. That video's free? Can't be. How, how can it be free? It's free when you subscribe to Sports Illustrated. Save over 50% off the cover price. 
Oh, I, I go for it in a heartbeat. It's something to look into. You get 23 issues, including the baseball preview and the swimsuit issue for three monthly installments of only $9.89. Or you can pay by credit card, so call now. One of the greatest magazines that's been around this country since day one. Kind of like how Muhammad Ali it gives you everything. Come on, girl. We in Manila. great memories of the greatest champion ever. To view the legend in the tape was fantastic. People who never had seen Ali would love this tape. Yes, I would recommend it for anybody. You can't walk away from this tape without being a Muhammad Ali fan. I am the king of the world. Hold it, hold it, hold I'm it. Hold it, hold it. You're not that pretty. I'm a bad man. Call our toll-free number now and get knockout savings on Sports Illustrated and get the Muhammad Ali video free. I still got the world. I still got the world. Chris Marlowe along with Charlene Prickett back at the Reebok National Aerobic Championship. You know, from thousands of athletes who competed in the regional competitions throughout the United States, we are now down to just three finalists in the women's individual competition. Let's meet them right now. From the San Francisco Bay Club in San Francisco, California, Mindy Milray. And from Voight Fitness in Los Angeles, California, Joan Winson. And competing first from Fitcore Health and Fitness in Boston, Massachusetts, here's Diane Nanfeld. <laughs> Diane is 27 years old. She's an aerobics instructor, studied at the Boston Conservator, uh, Conservatory, I should say. Here she goes. She really has cross-trained hair master, one machine, dance, you'll see her running. She's a dance teacher. You'll see, you'll see her dance background in this routine. Let's watch. This is her first uh, time in the finals. Phenomenal compulsory done well and a turning travel press and how long she held it. She gets major points for strength. In your opinion, is it more difficult doing an individual routine or a team routine? I think individuals are harder. You have no one to choreograph with. You have no one to, to interact and bounce off of. It is a one-man show. Push-ups, not just full body, complete down to the floor push-ups, but from the fingertips. Will the judges see that the fingertip oh, action? They don't miss the trick. Bum bum, nice little musical interpretation. My concern here is that there's an awful lot of dance at the sacrifice of big, powerful aerobic movements that create a cardiovascular demand. And that may harm, to some extent, her score for exercise selection. That, that's my concern. That would be what, what would bring her down. Okay, our first competitor is done. Now, next up, from Los Angeles, Joan Winson. Joan, 30 years old, originally a classical ballet dancer. And it shows. Fourth year in the competition, first trip to the finals. Her dance background allows her to carry off this presentation. Look at the strength in this one-arm push-up. She's been here three times and has gone home every time and worked on that upper body strength. How important is a uniform in, in a competition like this? It needs to show their their best side. It, it, it contributes to overall appearance, without question. In the presentation side? Yeah. All right, now, her abdominal compulsories are very well done. Always with a little something else going on in the body. If we're going to do compulsories, let's do them interesting. Look at that leg hold! And she brought it up from the floor. She gets triple points. She gets strength. Flexibility and balance. Attended the University of Cincinnati. Now lives in Los Angeles. She's a fitness personal trainer. Now another leg hole. Watch this. A squat. Bam. Right down into full split. 
Now here is her signature in a split with the front leg crossed over her pressing arm. That is a great move. And she created it. It is her contribution to this sport. Wait a minute. We'll see it again. She has no problem with flexibility then. No. <laughs> More strength. This woman has worked so hard. She wants this title and she's sweated for it. Her strength, her flexibility, her choreography, and her presentation make her very hard to beat. All right, last but not least, out of San Francisco, welcome Mindy Milray. Mindy is 28 years old. She has two kids, a couple of little boys, two and three. She's been training for this competition for over a year. Roll over, split again. She's getting the audience on her side. She's got good report. You know, this trooper trained right through the San Francisco earthquake. Interestingly, she lost a month of training. Will that hurt her? Oh, I don't think you'll ever see it. She has started well ahead. Lift on both sides. Now watch the little pushback between every push-up. It makes them harder and impresses the judges. Let's do some rotation. Let's do one arm. Her shoulders are parallel, just as they should be in one horizontal plane. Oh, and another one. Now watch this. Leg holds up from the floor. Oh, she did just touch with her left hand there, just as she was raising. She's never done that Will that before. be a deduction? They've seen this before, and they know that that's, that's not necessary. I think she'll lose a few points for that. You know, the pressure of competition. Lives in Santa Cruz, California now. Her husband, among other things, is a surfer. Probably watching this one, enjoying it. Her compulsories are well done, as are all the competitors. These compulsories are no problem for them. I know she is just sick of that, that little tiny glitch. Look, her end is a held one-arm push-up. She's sick about just having to touch the floor with that left hand on the raise on the leg hold. You know that might make the difference between her and Joan. All right, up next, the announcement of the Reebok National Aerobic Champion in the women's division. And we'll tell you how you can become a competitor. Stay with us. Hey, what's with the two bottles? You gonna wash your hair twice? Oh, <laughs> funny. It's shampoo and conditioner. Maybe you've heard of them. Yeah, I use them, but I get them both in one bottle with Per Plus. That's great, but I gotta use dandruff shampoo. Yeah, me too. And that's why I got Per Plus for dandruff. Let me see that. Dandruff shampoo plus conditioner in one. Hmm. Hey, my hair's clean, easy to manage, no flakes. It's beautiful. So let's go. Dandruff control, Per Plus. Great hair, no flakes, no fuss. What does it cost to live like a king? Well, home sweet home, 140 million. Weekend castle, 30 million. For everyday crown, 6 million. Chambermaid, ah, at least half a million. A royal feast, 79 cents. King Ralph's Royal Deal at Burger King. Buy any size fries and a soft drink and get a bacon double cheeseburger for 79 cents. Frankly, with expenses like these, that's about all one can afford. King Ralph's Royal Deal at Burger King. Hang! <laughs> Ugh, I've got the worst cold a human being ever had. I've got a major presentation tomorrow. I've got a rest and I'm out of NyQuil. I could take these, but I'd still be up all night coughing, which means I'd be a wreck for the presentation, which means I could get fired. But what am I going to do? Go next door like an idiot and ask? Could I borrow a cup of NyQuil? <laughs> Once you know what NyQuil can do, nothing else will do. ESPN brings you coast-to-coast -coast NCAA basketball. The action's outstanding. Everywhere you look, there's down-to-the-wire excitement. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! 
Unbelievable! Awesome, baby! Georgetown and St. John's battle toward the Big East crown. Steve Smith leads Michigan State against Minnesota, and number one UNLV faces its toughest Big West test against New Mexico State. Big Monday, live on ESPN. Welcome back to Atlanta, Georgia. This is the Reebok and National Aerobic Championship. I'm Chris Marlowe, along with Charlene Prickett. Well, the scores are in. We're ready for the results. Here to present the medal, the gold medal, the 1989 Women's Individual Reebok National Aerobic Champion, Tanaj Milward. All right, let's give you the scoring. A skill score of 166 out of 180. A presentation score of 111.5 out of 120, bringing her combined total to 277.5 out of 300. Your 1990 Women's Reebok National Aerobic Champion is, out of Los Angeles, Joan Winson, representing Voight Fitness Center in LA. Second place went to Mindy Milray with 255 points. Third place, Diane Manfeld with 240 points. Uh, tremendous competition. Joan Whitson out of Los Angeles. Once again, our congratulations to Joan Whitson, the women's individual champion. You know, if you would like to compete in one of the regional competitions of the Reebok National Aerobic Championship, here's how you can do it. Send a stamped, self-addressed envelope to the Reebok National Aerobic Championship, 9000 Sunset Boulevard, Suite 1408, Los Angeles, California, 90069. And now, the announcement of the finalists in the individual men's division. From a Western Reserve Club in Phoenix, Arizona, Peter Dale. From World Gym in Columbus, Ohio, Eric Pierce. And competing first from Gold's Gym in Greenville, South Carolina, Nick Farmer. Nick, 25 years old, attended West Point, the U.S. Military Academy. First trip to the finals for Nick. You'll see that this man has really played on his strength. He, he has firm muscular strength and he's trained it to its peak over the last few years he's really had to work though on flexibility he even took jazz classes to prepare for this he's only been in the sport three years which makes him a relative newcomer but a lot of people are saying he is considered the favorite unless something goes wrong with this routine he is a strong contender for the title now look at these push-ups he moves around so the judges can see them from all vantage points. He does them so slowly. Is that tougher? Yes, yeah, slow is harder. That's and he puts tough. a little leg variation in just to show that he can vary the position. Strength of that caliber is hard to come by. All right, now. Off he goes. Look here. What's this that? Back with what he calls his Roger Rabbit <laughs> Listen to the crowd. Any piece of original creativity like that uh, is just endearing. The judges and the, and the uh, spectators love to see something new. Abdominal curls. Look how brave he is with his compulsory. He does his compulsory slowly. Look at me, I can do this well. Training for one year for this particular competition. second competitor from Columbus, Ohio, Eric Pierce. <laughs> Eric is 28 years old. His first trip to the finals. He's an Ohio State Buckeye, a former gymnast. <laughs> this man is stands 6'1". Look at those long limbs, and he has the power to propel them through space. There's a hitch pit coming up right there. When you see that long leg go up, it is awesome. 
He is the largest competitor in the competition, and his uh, routine emphasizes this move right here, strength. Yes, and he has to slow his music down as compared to some of the others because he is so big, and he wants plenty of time to take full range of motion to make his kicks as big as he can. He was a bodybuilder for three years, so he's very, uh, very strong, very physically developed. Let's watch his abs. I love you. I love you. Perfect. Oh. Rotation. That's <laughs> a little tough on the Rebox, isn't it? <laughs> they'll survive. <laughs> now, a leg hole, which comes up from the floor. My goodness, he does that well. You know, that's been a concern of his, that he would miss that. And once he got up, he held it for a moment. So he'll milk all the points out of that. A man of the 60s and 70s working to proud Mary. It's not common to see so much strength combined with such flexibility. And he shows it off. Whammo. You know, his strength and flexibility and those long limbs are so awesome. And you know, you, you notice this man. Two good performances, but now third coming up from Phoenix, Arizona, Peter Dale. Old, his third trip to the finals. He's never won. He was second in 1988, and he's changed his whole routine since then. He is the gutsiest of the three. goes nice and slow on those compulsories so that the judges have good time to see how well he does them. Straddle press and he holds it. He gets points for holding these things on. Tremendous all-around athlete. He was a swimmer, ran cross-country when he was younger. He even has been hiking the mountains and hills of Arizona to supplement his aerobic training. Now a teacher at Glendale Community College in his spare time. Now you're gonna like these push-ups. All right, here we go. We got one arm. Now we slip the under other arm through. Is that and more pizzazz or does that take a lot of strength? It looks very, very difficult. Strength. Anything you do while yeah. you're doing a push-up adds to the, to the complication, to the intensity of it. Now here it comes. Now watch out. He's gonna keep crawling forward. Now he's gonna prepare. Here it is. fall forward and bonk his nose. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to do that exercise near the fireplace in your living room, I guess. An inch is as good as a mile. He pulled it off. All right. Okay, it's going to be a tough call. When we come back, we will announce the champion of the Reebok National Aerobic Championship in the men's division. Stay with us. Are you still living with this nightmare? Over a million motorists have said never again. They've switched to Triple Edge, the world's first high-tech windshield wiper. It clears, it cleans, it wipes dry, all in a single pass. And Triple Edge wipers won't tear, dry rot, or freeze to your windshield. They're made from DuPont Nordell, used in radial tires. So strong that if they ever fail, we'll replace them free. Triple Edge gives you visibility through the heaviest downpour. It whisks away snow and ice. Even mud is no match for Triple Edge. They're only $19.95 a pair. Custom fit to install in seconds. No noise, no streaking, no smearing, no tearing. They're the last windshield wipers you'll ever buy. 
Call toll-free 1-800-453-9000 or send $19.95 plus $450 shipping and handling to Triple Edge Wipers, number 2 Morgan Avenue, Norwalk, Connecticut. Please include your car car's make, model, and year for the correct sizing. Every day, more and more people are getting together over an ice-cold Bud Light. Well, you can taste it, you can feel it, you know you got it right. Cause everything else is just a light. Just keep your Bud Light shining. It's just a light. Bud Light shining. Everything else is just Chris Marlowe back with Charlene Prickett. We're at the Reebok National Aerobic Championship. Well, one of these athletes is about to become a national champion. All the glory, honor, and prestige that title carries with it. As Reebok and National Aerobics champions, these seven athletes selected today will tour America and the world as ambassadors of the sport. Please welcome now the 1989 men's individual champion, Greg Corelli. With a skill score of 156 out of 180 and a presentation score of 114 out of 120 making a combined total of 270 out of 300. The new men's champion is Nick Farmer, representing Gold's Gym, Greenville, South Carolina. Closest competition so far in second place with 263 points. Peter Dale in third place, 252.5, Eric Pierce. I bet we see those two again. The team competition. Teams are made up of three individuals and maybe any combination of men and women. Here the judges watch for synchronization in addition to a high level of skill and presentation. Now, let's meet our three teams. First, from Miami, Florida, Charmaine Bassett, Frank Lubberdesk, and Orlando Garcia. Next, from San Francisco Bay Club in San Francisco, California, Diane, Teresi Thomas, Andy Miller, and Mick Stangrover. And finally, competing first from the Sports Club LA in Los Angeles, California, Tyler Patterson, Brett Kelly, and Patrick Goudeau. This team has been in training for over a year. Tyler is 27, Brett 28, Patrick 29. Three children among them as well. Brett has two children and Tyler one. And they all meet at the Sports Club LA. We're going to see a little setup here, a little fun with the music. And now, we go to work. Interestingly, Patrick, uh, he's a personal trainer. One of his clients, Paula Abdul. That's a nice assignment. <laughs> nice clientele. Here, we're looking for synchronization here. Not only in timing, but in style. Now, this is, they call this the monster push. <laughs> I love this. Smack they are. Yeah, yeah. Adding overload to the men and right smack into a boy split. Tyler comes right up. All right. Here we go. Push ups. And she has worked hard to get that chest right down to the floor. I guess. Tyler was in the mixed pair competition last year. Always the women go home and train harder on their strength. And she found two more men to train with. That's right. That's right. You know, this is time consuming. This is a full time job, so not everyone can do it in consecutive years. Beautiful high compulsory kicks. Yeah. Now a roll backwards and a short straddle press, which they don't hold long enough to milk the point. It's hard to get into it because of that, that backward momentum they've gained with the roll. All right, team number one has done their thing. Now team number two from the San Francisco Bay Club in San Francisco, California, Diane Teresi Thomas, Andy Miller, and Mick Sandgrover. Diane Teresi Thomas, 29, out of San Diego State. 
Andy Miller is 29. He's a CPA. And Nick Sandrover, 28. He's a construction manager. This is an unusual conglomeration. Look at this picture. They made a last-minute change today, deciding to leave out a move that might be perceived as the judges as contraindicated by the guidelines of the International Dance Exercise Association. You never want to do something that would be seen to be difficult, dangerous. Oh, look at this snake, and we see it again. <laughs> what kind of snake is that, a rattler? Yeah, it's a push-up snake. Uh, <laughs> Overloading the guys at the back, you see. All of these variations that competitors add to push-ups make them more difficult and glean them more points in strength categories. Again, a, a turning straddle twist. If you can hold it longer, if you can turn with it, if you can do something unusual, more points. Push up scan. Now watch them walk. Rotate and walk. <laughs> I like that. I do too. It's ingenious choreography. Very visual. Now they are worried about their ending, a shoulder hold, and they'll begin to think about it right now while they are doing these great compulsory. A straddle, a straddle again, and the last straddle. I'm glad I'm not judging this. I'm glad I'm not scoring this. It's very difficult because they paint such a beautiful picture with their bodies on stage. All right, two of the teams have competed. Now our third team finalist from Miami, Florida, Charmaine Bassett, Frank Lubbardis, and Orlando Garcia. Seven months this team has been in training. Frank is the one who actually got the team together. He's the youngest competitor here. Only 24 years old. Well, actually, well, Orlando's 20. A split push-up again. Not unlike Jones, except that their foot is over the next guy, not their own arm. Now they're going to do a little musical interpretation. You'll see them several times using their torso and hips to give a kind of a Latin beat. This is a peel off, and they use this well. Audience decor, come with us. Leg hold. Good balance. All three at once, you know, any one of the three could lose it. Now, we're talking real overload on these push ups because they have her body weight. She's got the cushy job on that one. <laughs> Frank on the right, to make that Orlando on the right, only 20 years old. He began as a personal trainer at 14, so he's been in this sport for a while, even though he's very young. Okay, abdominal compulsory, head and variations in other parts of the body for interest. A straddle hold, not very long. Now, a little portraiture, a jump, a straddle. A split and look, upside down split hole. No problem with flexibility. Okay, coming up next, the announcement of the winner, America's Best Teen Champion. We'll have that for you after this. Stay with us. We went to the fight capital of the world and asked the fans, who's the greatest heavyweight ever? By far, it's Muhammad Ali. Ripping punches. Muhammad Ali. The challenger goes down again. Muhammad Ali. Who's the heavyweight champion of the world? Sports Illustrated presents Muhammad Ali. The video. See his pro debut. His fights with Liston, Foreman, Frazier, Spinks, and more. And the video is free with your paid subscription to SI. Get it and find out who the greatest of all time is. A short choosing right to the jaw. Liston goes down. The man, he, he jab, body dance. He float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. Keep your camera moving because I'm kind of fast. A sharp right and only goes down. 
It brought back memories, things I'd seen and hadn't seen. All the fights, all the interviews. Muhammad Ali, he took them all on. God's former Joe Frazier. Naming the round and all that. People thought that was a fluke. He wanted to go to heaven, so I took him himself. You don't see boxers like that anymore. And George Foreman goes down. Foreman goes down like a tree stuck by lightning. And the Muhammad Ali video is free. That video's free? Can't be. How, how can it be free? It's free when you subscribe to Sports Illustrated. Save over 50% off the cover price. Oh, I, I go for it in a heartbeat. It's something to look into. You'll get 23 issues, including the baseball preview and the swimsuit issue for three monthly installments of only $9.89. Or you can pay by credit card, so call now. When the greatest magazine that's been around this country since day one. Kind of like Muhammad Ali, it gives you everything. Come on, girl, we in Manila. This is Muhammad Ali in his very best. And it's unbelievable that Joe Frazier is still standing. You lived great memories of the greatest champion ever. The view the legend in the tape was fantastic. People who never had seen Ali would love this tape. Yes, I would recommend it for anybody. You can't walk away from this tape without being a Muhammad Ali fan. Right, I'm the king of the world. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, you're not that pretty. Oh, my bad man. Call our toll-free number now and get knockout savings on Sports Illustrated and get the Muhammad Ali video free. I still got the world. I still got the world. Hi, I'm Gilad of Bodies in Motion. And I'm Ada of Basic Training. Getting in shape with us is a lot of fun. So join us for a full hour of fitness. We're here for you weekdays at 11.30 and 12 noon. Eastern, Eastern time, time on ESPN. ESPN. Damon Bailey faces Steve Smith. King Rice meets Kenny Anderson. And Brian Williams leads Arizona against Oregon State. A star-studded triple header Thursday night live on ESPN. You're watching ESPN, the total sports network. Back at the Reebok National Aerobic Championship, I'm Chris Marlowe along with Charlene Prickett. The final results are in, and once again, here with the gold medals is the 1989 U.S. team, the U.S. team champions, Marlene Tucker, Merlene Tucker, and Paul Bell. Here's the scoring. With a skill score of 159.5 out of 180. Presentation score 109 out of 120. Their total score 268.5 out of 300. Your new 1990 Reebok National Aerobic Champions in the team division. Tyla Patterson, Brett Kelly, and Patrick Goudeau. Proving again with their first season not to succeed. Try again. Brett has been three times for Tyla twice. That's five tries between them, and it's paid off. Patterson, Kelly, and Goudeau representing Sports Club LA in Los Angeles. Second place, only five points behind it's Diane Teresi Thomas. Andy Miller, Mick Scandrover. Third place, 253, Charmaine Bassett, Orlando Garcia, Frank Labradesk. Close, close competition. Five points. We can only hope that we can see this second place and third place back here next year. What a moment. Charlene, uh, your impressions of the competition. Every year the women get stronger and the men get more flexible and the push-ups get harder and more complicated. What can we do to make them harder? You know, you see competitors time and time again come to this competition, fail, go home and train, come back again, fail, go home and train, come back again and win, proving that these winners are not born, they are developed by blood, sweat, and tears. Thanks for helping me out. I enjoyed, I enjoyed it. it. Okay, that will conclude the 1990 Reebok a National Aerobic Championship. Hope you enjoyed it here on ESPN. For Charlene Prickett, I'm Chris Marlowe reminding you... Don't sit, get fit! So long from Atlanta, Georgia. Travel arranged through Eastern Airlines. Now serving Latin America with more non-stops than any other U.S. airline. Eastern, we're building a great new airline. Located in suburban northeast Atlanta on I-285, the Radisson Inn Dunwoody features deluxe accommodations, swimming and tennis facilities, and fine dining and entertainment. The Reebok National Aerobic Champions will be touring the U.S. throughout 1990. If you would like them to instruct at your club or appear at your special event, call 213-278-9700.